Hey guys, it's T. Rochelle back again showing you how to do a bun up sum down using kinkistry clip-ins. For starters, I'm going to go ahead and part that sum up section and make sure that it's separated. For this bottom section, I went ahead and added my favorite leave-in conditioner and detangled it thoroughly. And now I am parting it to do four flat twists where I am going to place my clip-ins. I wanted to be sure to give you guys a detailed look at how to flat twist being that it is one of the easier styles that I've adopted. It's super fun and quick and it makes it easier if you are not good at braiding for styles like this. Again, I ended up having four flat twists and now that that's taken care of, I co-washed my clip ends and added leave-in for moisture. For the top section, I put it into a ponytail with gel and I am now adding my clip ends. This part is super easy. Also, you are finding the length of the clip ends that fit your head and you are just securely adding them into those flat twists in places that need body. This is my longest piece that I added and I'm securely placing it around the flat twist so that they don't show. The ponytail has the same concept whereas you start at the end and you wrap around. I went a little wider so that it can cover the whole ponytail and this is with strict 26 inch clip ins. This extra piece of hair that I'm taking out of the clip in is strictly just for support, although it's still going in a bun. And of course, as we know, I am adding a few layers of extra hold edge control for the baby hairs because we cannot leave them hanging with this style. Last but not least, a satin cap to hold and protect the hair overnight. It's the next day and I'm back again with my edge control on dry hair just to lay down those extra flyaways. I'm adding some gel to the clip-ins and I am adding an extra clip-in just for a body. I kind of wanted that exaggerated big bun. Here is your final look. I am slayed and ready to go out and play. Thank you guys so much for watching.